Well, hello there, Capricorn. It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I am so grateful that you're here. Today, we are doing your December career and money reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. So let's see what we have for you. We're getting ready to go into Capricorn season. So let's see what we have. Fox Spirit, think on your feet and Treasure Island. Okay, I feel like um, the energy I get, this is kind of like something big that comes in before the end of the year. It could even be around your birthday, you know, like um, it, it's, it's kind of like a birthday present or um, something like that, but it's not necessarily related to your birthday. Um, I mean, as far as a gift, I, it's something that is coming in. It's coming in very quickly, but it's an opportunity. And the message here is that when this opportunity comes along, don't overthink it. It's kind of like you think quickly and take action. Um, so, you know, this could be something perhaps your accountant or something calls up and says, um, oh, you know, I, I um, you know, have this idea in order to help save you taxes, you know, or something like, but we have to do it before the end of the year, you know, like, um, you know, a lot of times you might go and do a lot of research, ask a lot of friends or something like that. It's kind of like, take the information that you have and make a decision then. I also feel like for some of you, you could get an opportunity to, you know, have a new promotion, move to a new department, something like that. But it's kind of like this window of opportunity is only available for a short amount of time. So it is about taking action on it, you know, listening to your intuition, to your gut. <clears throat> And, um, and then, you know, um, making a decision and then and not like overthinking, overanalyzing it afterwards. <laughs> you know, sometimes we can also do that. So let's see what we have here. Yeah. Okay. So there, there's a sense here that you are playing it safe. You have playing it safe on the bottom and a consciousness of lack. Um, there's something coming in like the, your guides, the universe are coming, coming in with something to honor you. Once again, this idea that it may happen around your birthday. Um, but it's coming in and it's kind of like, I feel like you're, uh, you're almost like not going to take advantage of it because you're trying to play it really safe, you know, in your financial sector. So it's a great opportunity. And yet at the same time, you're not seeing it as that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this could actually be like a legal matter because we have justice here. It could be if, say, you um, have been in the court system for some time, you know, maybe a divorce settlement, uh, child support. It could be an insurance payout, something like that. Um, it's interesting because we have letting go and then we have the justice card. It's almost as if when you allow yourself to let go of any resentment that you may have around this situation, okay? So, you know, say you were um, say you were in a car accident and it was the other person's fault, right? Um, when you step away from being perhaps resentful for, um, say you broke your leg in it, okay? Not something serious, but say you broke your leg um, and this has gone, you know, to the insurance and the insurance is trying to dodge it or whatever. Um, when you allow yourself to let go of the resentment around the situation it, and see the situation out of a sense of gratitude, okay? <laughs> so you could perhaps be sitting there, you know, um, it could be resentful that your leg is in a cast at this time, you know, it's the holiday season, your leg is in a cast. You could be looking at it that way, or perhaps you're sitting there going, you know, I really got lucky. I, I could have injured, I, I could have gotten injured so much more severely in this situation, right? Um, you know, uh, the, the, the car is going to, you know, need to be fixed. My leg will need to heal. But, you know, in a couple of months time, everything will be fine. It's when you let go of the resentment. Now, if this is kind of like a divorce settlement or something like that, it's the same thing. It's kind of like allowing yourself to release any resentment. And that 
to me, that is really interesting that that word is coming out because it's resentment. It's not really anger, right? <laughs> or there's, you know, anger and frustration are part of resentment, but it's it's allowing yourself to to release the resentment around this. It almost like instantly brings in the good karma for you. So if you're focusing on resentment about this situation, what's happening is you're harboring kind of the bad karma, right? <clears throat> you're kind of reliving the past. You're um, focusing on the bad in the situation. And when you can flip that around, you know, even if your leg is broken, right? you know, flip it around. It's kind of like, I'm going to tell you, you know, I, I had that fall back in October when I was hiking and, um, you know, I broke a couple of ribs. So I was, you know, kind of like out <laughs> for a little bit. Um, but during that time, one of the things is, is that I really kind of tried to focus on the fact that, okay, I was in pain. I had, you know, cracked a couple of ribs. Um, that was not fun, right? But I really realized I was really lucky that I didn't have a more severe um, injury in that situation. You know, um, I, I didn't hit my head, you know, I didn't, you know, um, you know, uh, break my neck or something like that, you know, and I feel like it did help me to heal, to look at the situation in the best way. I also tried to have a lot of gratitude for the people in my life that were helping me with Maggie, um, bringing me food, taking, you know, checking in on me, seeing if I needed anything, um, and just calling and chatting, you know, those types of things. I, I really tried to focus on that and it does help you with the healing, whether it's a justice situation, a legal situation, or some type of a contract or something like that, or if it is, you know, just a, a health situation. So let's see what we have here. We have the Knight of Swords. This is coming in really fast. You're going to have to make a fast decision, um, but somebody's trying to balance something out. You know what I think? I think for some of you, it's kind of like a settlement. It's, you know, here at the end of the year, a lot of times, you know, companies, people want to close out things at the end of the year, you know, financial things. I feel like somebody wants to close this out. And I think they're bringing, they're trying to come in with a really good offer, something that is going to entice you enough to take it. It may not be what you were hoping for in the long run, but it's kind of like, okay, then this is done, especially if this is something that has been taking a very long time. For some of you, this could be like, you know, um, <clears throat> You could have wanted a promotion at work or, you know, changed departments, something like that. And you didn't have it. You didn't get that opportunity earlier in the year when it was available. And now here at the end of the year, it's almost like, you know, your boss or somebody is coming in. It could even be like a Christmas or holiday bonus, something like that. They're, you know, almost kind of like, hey, we want to balance out you know, something here that, you know, you didn't get something that you wanted, but the universe or some person is coming in to try to balance that energy out. So let's see what we have. Your area of resistance, your obstacle. Yeah, you have fragmented energy and then the four of wands. Four of wands is the energy of celebrating, having financial security, stability, happy family, happy home. Um, people being all together, but your energy is fragmented here, right? So there's a couple of things, you know, that could be going on. You could have a lot going on during the holiday season, right? And so your energy is fragmented. You can't focus on your financial stability or something like that. But I feel like this whole situation, whatever this is, yeah, it's, it's you know, something is coming to an end, whether you are closing out a relationship or a court situation um, or even changing jobs, something is coming to an end to help bring your energies more focused onto the happy family, happy home. So let's see what we have here. Three of Cups. 
nine of cups and the tower yeah this is coming in really quickly so you have you know this situation of people coming together something that you've really wanted it's coming in very quickly so the thing that i'm getting here is that you really need to focus on the gratitude of this situation you know even you know once again you may have a broken leg or something but being really grateful that you know it's only a broken leg you know or whatever the the case is it's kind of like looking at the situation understanding that every um dark cloud has a silver lining and when you focus on that it's kind of like this energy of balancing out something that you have been disappointed about is brought in and it's a really lovely energy um and it comes in so quickly i mean once again it's almost like i think you might be really surprised it could be you know your boss just coming in and and <laughs> handing you a check as a holiday bonus right a, and a year bonus and you're kind of like what what's this and you know down deep inside you could have been kind of like wow you know I've been putting in a lot of time and effort but I didn't get that promotion and then just kind of seeing the gratitude in the whole situation you know letting go of the resentment and then something it's like instant um and then we have for your advice stuck energy and the two of cups that's why i kind of feel like this is a situation between you and perhaps a romantic partner it could also be um you and a family member or you and you know like a boss or a work colleague business partner that type of thing it's been kind of stuck because there's this sense that you have had some sense of resentment towards this person and I feel Capricorn you've kind of kept it to yourself you haven't really expressed to this person how you really feel you may have been expressing it to other people but not to this person or to the situation and I feel like once again once you say okay that's it I'm just going to be grateful for the situation you know that it is what it is kind of like um, allowing yourself to release that resentment it's uh, the energy is then unstuck yeah yeah it comes in you know it's kind of interesting something has come to an end and because of that you have held yourself back you've kind of almost like prevented yourself from moving forward and now it's kind of like when you flip your mindset your thinking pattern about the situation then you can find the progress moving forward so you know once again perhaps you're waiting on an insurance settlement um hearing you know about your divorce settlement um hearing about a job or something like that once you close that out right <laughs> once you close that out um you know or the resentment the worry worry about it you know just being grateful for it then there's something to celebrate and especially now you know if a relationship comes to an end like you're in a divorce it's not that you're celebrating the end it's that you're celebrating the new beginning that you are going to have being able to move forward now in your life because a lot of times when we're waiting on information or a situation to be resolved it's kind of like it leaves us in that sense of limbo and now you are moving out of that energy of limbo you know the direction that you need to go in now so i really love that energy okay so let's pull a soul truth card for you in capricorn i do do personal readings so if you're interested the link is in the description box below i'd really be honored to do a reading for you when was the last time i couldn't stop laughing or smiling yeah i think that this situation has really been playing on your mind you know it's kind of been a serious situation you know whatever this is um and once again that sense of resenting you know something um it has kind of you know i feel like <laughs> maybe part of it is that you know uh you you go to you know some type of a holiday party or something like that you have a little fun maybe even for your birthday you have a birthday celebration right and then it's kind of like oh my gosh like you start laughing and you break the the seriousness of this situation you're kind of like okay well it is what it is i can't do any you know it's kind of like i can't really do anything about it i just have to allow this to play out so go back to a moment when you laugh so hard <coughs> 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 
Go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed in your pants. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the littlest thing. Note to self, laugh more often. And, you know, I was just reading um, a really good article about laughter, you know, and how it really does raise our vibration. You know, dancing, singing, all of those things can help to raise our vibration. It helps us to pull out of those negative energies that we have and I feel like you know this situation has been weighing on your heart um, weighing on your mind you know this is something that is really important to you so it's not about trivializing whatever this situation is it's it's kind of like okay I'm gonna raise my vibration I'm going to try to get back into my happy happy mode and when you do <laughs> the situation it's almost like the universe says that's all we needed from you Capricorn and now here you go <laughs> all right well I'm going to leave it there I wish you so much love and light and I hope to see you again really soon bye for now